Subhuman Sounds. So I had this old air compressor that was laying around. The sticker that was on the top of it was in real bad shape, so I used some sticker remover, got it removed off of it. Uh, there's some scratches and blemishes in it, but I'm gonna use some Windex and clean it. And that'll help this decal that I've made stick on here. And what I did, I printed out a, uh, just a vinyl decal. I always try to use Oracle 651. So uh, I'm gonna stick it on there. Oh, uh, the decal, I always pick, uh, for, for making a stencil, you'll pick out the, uh, the negative end, like whatever you would have, uh, so this was gonna be the sticker that was gonna go on like the back glass of the truck or something. The section that you want to cap, that's what you remove instead, just to make the stencil. Uh, if you have anything else to make a stencil, it'll work just as good. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this put on here, and then uh, I'll be back. Okay, so the decal is placed on it. Uh, I've got a 12 volt power supply. You can use a battery. Uh, honestly, a battery seems to work better than the power supply. This is just what I had available sitting here. So positive electrode will go to the, the frame of whatever it is you're trying to etch the metal. And then a little tub of water. Get a little bit of salt down in it. And uh, it didn't bring anything to mix it with, so use the old fashioned way here. So heavier on the salt is better. It uh, seems to turn out a better uh, image. Don't mind the mess here. This is uh, kind of a catch-all table. But take the uh, cotton swab, put it or cotton ball, put it inside the uh, negative lead. Try and get, a, get some of that out of it so it's not dripping everywhere on you. And what we're going to do I started to use the Vi Air logo, but I figured since I was making a video out of it. Now I've had better luck trying to just dab it. This is my first time trying to do chrome. What I found if I try to drag, the stencil will peel up. This looks like it's gonna turn out kind of cool because the uh, the chrome plating yep chrome plating is actually peeling off of it we're not peeling but it's uh the coating's coming off you can see the the copper under it so I'm gonna finish dabbing this around and I'll, I'll come back to the video. Okay, so we're back to the 
the stencil. You can see the gold tint underneath the chrome where the copper is exposed now. I'm gonna try and see if I can get this peeled off here. I think I'm gonna like how it's turning out here. Kind of hard to. Get the whole decal to pull off here, but let's see. There's a positive lead falling off the case of the compressor. Or we got a little better line. So it's uh it's all etched in. I think uh I think I like the way it turned out on the chrome. Most likely this will end up going on that S10 over there, the one I've been working on. That's, uh, that's the process. Just make a stencil, get the stencil placed on, use a salt water solution, positive on the case of the, the metal you're etching. The shinier the metal, the better. Uh, I don't know how it would work on aluminum, but it's just a kind of a, a rapid uh, oxidation, I guess, because it's a salt water solution and the electrode just uh, speeds the process up in that spot but, uh, hopefully it'll be something useful so on the, uh, the etched metal I figured I'd go ahead and add this to the video this is a knife I've packed for several years now I had uh, I etched a speaker emblem on the side of it and uh, last name, this is stainless steel. It seemed to etch pretty good. That was the factory logo. It's a cheap Amazon uh, Ganzo knife. But the etching seemed to turn out pretty good. They've held up really well.